So the React ecosystem is in the process of migrating from the ESX default import syntax, which is import React from React, to the ESX namespace import syntax, which is import star as React from React. In this lesson, we cover the reason why. Let's go. In previous lessons, we've looked at the ES module interop compiler option, which makes the namespace import of an ES module the same as the default import of an ES module. And even though they're synonymous as far as their members are concerned, we recommended that you use the default import syntax. And the default import syntax is actually even required for certain NPM modules that export members as well as something that can be called as a function. So React as it stands today as a common JS module, if you were to do the default import as you've been doing till now, or do the namespace import as what is recommended going forward, they would have the same members. That is fundamentally the create element call that a JSX transforms into will be the same. And indeed, if I go ahead and run this piece of code, you can see that in the output. So that brings us to the original question that we asked over here. Why is React migrating from import React from React to the namespace syntax, which is import star as React? Because this is not a minor change. There will be a lot of code churn for this. Of course, it can be code modded and be done extremely easily, but it's still a big commit. And the main answer is actually a very easy one. And it's mentioned in this pull request. React no longer wishes to be treated as a common JS module, but instead wants to behave like an ES module. As an example, let's go ahead and create an ES module. Within a TypeScript project, when you're using the ES import and export syntax, you're actually creating ES modules. So I can go ahead and create an example.ts file in which I can have some named export as well as a very explicit default export. And if you were to do a default import on an ES module, you would not be able to access any of the named exports from the default import. In order to access any of the named exports, you could either do a named import syntax or as we have been doing till now, import the namespace and then access the member off of the namespace. And there we have it. If React starts acting like an ES module instead of a common JS module, then you will not be able to access functions like create element off of the default export. And therefore, in order to use React properly and use the JSX transform, you would need to use the namespace export just like any other ES module that you might create within your project. As always, thank you for watching and smashing that like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Till next time, take care.